Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, this is going to be a video about Sarah Harding and Chad Johnson who met on Celebrity UK Big Brother this year. I haven't done an update on them for ages just because I haven't really been feeling doing any kind of celebby news videos. Um, I like to do stuff I'm interested in or that I find quite comical, maybe, or sometimes I touch upon serious topics, but a lot of the time I like to keep it quite jovial and quite silly and, you know, nothing too in depth, if that makes sense. It's supposed to be a bit of fun and that's what I think YouTube is supposed to be, a bit of fun. But a couple of days ago, Sarah Harding posted, I believe on Instagram or um, Twitter, I believe it was Instagram actually, from my memory, if my memory serves me correctly, um, that she basically things aren't all you know flowers and sun and angels and what the hell am I talking about but things aren't all rosy in the garden between Chad and Sarah basically she tweeted out not tweeted out she put a post on Instagram saying soon to be X and then another post came out saying love hurts with like a broken heart picture emoji and um, she was chatting to her fans and one of the people she was talking to was claims to be the neighbour of, of um, Chad Johnson and she said to him she said to that person who claimed to be the neighbour that I'm to his be soon be ex and that, that looks on everything you know believe her that looks on everything and so one other fan went to her so why are you soon to be his ex they claim to be so loved up you know all over him besotted with each other and she said go figure or something along those lines um now none of this is, is a surprise to me none of this is going to be a surprise to anybody who has watched any of my other videos on Sarah and Chad I think they were a match made in hell I don't think they were going to work unfortunately um, I never want anything bad never wanted anything bad to, obviously to happen between Sarah and Chad and um, I do believe Sarah Harding didn't come across well on Big Brother that's just my opinion I thought she came across pretty bad I didn't think Chad came across too well either and I think together it just wasn't going to work. She was seemed to be very, I don't know, very possessive, very angry a lot of the time. When she had a wine, she went off the and went a bit cray. Tried to defend herself on loose women, saying it was everybody else who actually was drinking more than her and stealing drink. Whatever, girl. It was just to me. It was just we all saw it, you know. And we were all rooting for her as well. When she actually went into Big Brother, I obviously new girls loud, you know, they're all my similar age, and I was like, oh god, you've got to prove us all wrong. Don't prove us to be that you're the train wreck that the press had you know made you out to be and I'm not saying she came across as a train wreck but some of the time she did and unless that is just what they were showing on camera but it was such a shame because I really wanted her to do well she obviously won it however her still image to the public didn't come across great and then when I see some of her Instagram posts and videos they're very erratic very all over the over the place I feel she needs a bit of better marketing on her done that's my personal opinion but what do I know but I'm just probably speaking I'm giving my thoughts on what everyone else who's watched it probably a lot of people will probably feel the same way as me but anyway it looks like her and Chad now are finished to be honest with you or soon to be finished which is even stranger why would you say soon to be ex surely you're finished or not but the thing is I'm not surprised I don't think any of you guys are surprised that this was going to happen it was kind of a long time coming and I feel that they'll be better off separate I feel Chad he seems do you know what a lot of the time he comes across to me as quite sad and down tries to put on a bit of a macho persona but comes across as very egotistical and also quite sad and down and i feel that maybe obviously he's that little bit younger he still maybe has a little bit of growing up to do and i don't know i just thought together they weren't a good match um i probably i actually think maybe neither of them are ready to settle down right now i think sarah's still got to battle a few things of her own demons maybe got to look into herself a little bit more Chad, I don't know as much about, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not. This is no, don't send any hate towards either of these people, either or anyone watching this. Don't send them any hate. You know, I've got nothing against either of them, but I think they both need their time and space. And a lot of us actually thought this was all just for the magazine deals and all the rest of it. And actually, I'll commend them on one thing. I didn't see one okay deal. Did you? I know Sarah wanted to get away from that. She didn't want it to seem fake and phony, so she didn't want to do like an okay magazine deal or anything like that. However, I'm very, very surprised that we didn't see one. I thought we're going to get some kind of okay reveal. I don't know. 
the sun whatever kind of like magazine spread paper spread and we didn't get one did we so it looks like the honeymoon is over for Sarah and Chad it's come to an end I think it's probably better for the you know for both of them to be fair and yeah so what do you guys think about it nobody's surprised are they nobody's surprised that this has happened but I know Sarah had spent some time out in LA and we all saw the pictures of her at the airport meeting Chad they're all over each other like a rash so I wonder what's changed I mean it was very volatile to begin with I just don't think they were very well suited um but yeah I wonder what has changed because she didn't seem to want to divulge I know the son had contacted their reps for comment or her reps for comment and I don't believe that they'd sent anything back allegedly they hadn't got back to them but nobody's shocked are they and I think it's probably better for both of them especially for Sarah at the moment to maybe be on her own and you know get herself together a bit more and I'm sure she's a nice girl but some of the stuff that some of the other housemates were saying about her I mean obviously there was Trish there was Jordan and I just Amelia and I just don't think they're all lying you know I just don't think they're all lying saying that she was selfish and yada 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 no doubt every kind of celebrity has their own selfish aspects like we all do but she just didn't come across well did she and we were all I was really rooting for her but in the end just really didn't like how she came across on camera so the honeymoon is over Sarah and Chad appear to be no more however I believe they are still following each other on Instagram and stuff I could be wrong it may have changed by the time I do this video but yes yeah, so looks like it's over you know no wedding bells for them as it seems so anyway I do hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel if you're new and I hope you have a lovely day bye